Hey friends, well in our church worship service last week, we were looking at Genesis chapter 18 and an incredible story about a great encounter that Abraham had with three men who showed up in his life one day, one of whom I believe was Jesus and the other two angels. And Abraham wanted to be a good host for these special visitors and he wanted to prepare a big meal for them. So he ran and asked his wife, hey, can you cook up some bread quickly? And I'm, my wife, Chris, makes some incredible bread, but it never happens quickly. I would love to learn how to make bread, but it is a lot of work and it takes time. And then Abraham went and found the choicest calf that he could find, and he asked one of the workers to prepare it for this big meal. That would take some time too. So it took some time to prepare this big meal. So what were the three visitors doing during that time? A friend and I were talking about it later, and he commented that, well, maybe Abraham was having some really special fellowship with these three visitors during that time. I mean, qu clearly they're not in a hurry and they didn't come for the food. It's not about the food, he said. It's about the fellowship. My friend also commented that he really enjoys putting together a, bar a good barbecue and inviting friends over. And he and his wife, I know for a fact, put together an incredible barbecue. But it's not about the food, it's about the friends. I like good food, but also really need good friends. I hope you have a few. And here's something profound to think about. Abraham was called God's friend. Did you know that God wants you to be his friend, that he wants to be a friend of ours? I mean, the all-powerful, almighty, sovereign God of the universe who created all things wants an intimate relationship with me and with you. He wants us to be called friends. Wow, think about that while the bread is rising. Jesus said this. Listen to these words in John chapter 15. I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. And Jesus also looked at a paralytic one day. It's written about in Luke chapter 5. And he said to the paralytic, friend, your sins are forgiven. Wow, Jesus calling us friends, the God of the universe calling us friends. That's something to think about while the barbecue cooks.